Now, there's no question in your mind, Mr. Cosner, Just that the Cosner, woman... Just Cosner, Lieutenant. Just Cosner? Cosner. All right, Cosner. You're sure that the woman that you took to the airport was Miss Hunter? No doubt about that. Yes, Lieutenant, I'm certain it was she. I've driven, madam, for seven years. Did Miss Hunter, on the way to the airport, stop to visit with a friend, business No, associate? she did not. So you went straight to the airport? We did make one stop at Madam's favorite restaurant where I picked up her imported Scottish salmon. She hates airline food. You went into the restaurant and she stayed in the car alone? Correct. And how long were you in the restaurant? A couple of minutes. Couple of minutes? Right. And when you came out, you had the salmon? Yes. Did you give the salmon to Miss Hunter? Uh, no, I kept the salmon on the front seat with me. Madam had raised the partition. That's her way of saying no more conversation. So you drove to the airport from the restaurant without talking? Correct. And when you got to the airport, did you talk to her then? I did, yes, when I helped her out of the limo. For some reason, the lady had gotten herself all bundled up. It, it seemed peculiar. I couldn't imagine why. And I remember asking her, was there anything I could do? She said no. Bundled up? How was she bundled up? She had on a hat, a scarf around her head, dark glasses, and a fur coat with the collar turned up. Would you put up the petition, sir? Beg pardon? Would you get in the back seat, sir, and put up the petition? Certainly. Did you say something? No, all you can see is a silhouette. When you went into the restaurant, where did you park? In the back alley by the rear entrance of the kitchen. In the back alley. And you were in for a couple minutes. So there was enough time for someone to come up in another car and switch someone else from Miss Hunter. Take Miss Hunter out and replace her with someone who looked like her. No, 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 impossible. There wasn't enough time. You see, I, I was in the restaurant less than a minute when I heard a shot. A shot? You heard a shot? Well, I, I heard what I thought was a shot, a bang from the alley, and naturally I was concerned and ran out to make sure that Madam was all right. And? And nothing. All I saw was the limo parked just as I left it, the alley absolutely empty and peaceful. Wait a minute. Are you saying if there was a shot that there wasn't enough time for someone who fired that shot to have gotten out of the alley without you seeing him? That's right, Lieutenant. And two minutes later, when I got back in the car, I could see Madam's silhouette through the glass. That's two minutes, Lieutenant. That's hardly enough time for someone to have shot the lady, switched clothes with her, and disposed of her body. Excuse me, sir. That night when you came back to the chateau, did you clean up back here? No, no, I just parked the car in the garage. I dropped her whiskey glass off in the kitchen and I went to bed. Good. Keep everybody away from the car until the crime lab has had a chance to go over. No, no, Mr. Brantley's not going to like that. Uh, no, sir. I don't think he will. Just one more thing. 